Importing Products and Services When you are setting up your store via the Setup Wizard, you can select one of the pre-configured stores or create an empty store. Creating an empty store generates a basic setup so that you can manually create your products or services or import them from a CSV file. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to import your products or services from a CSV file. Click Settings, Imports, and then select Import from CSV file. Click Import Products and Services. You can start off by clicking this link to download a sample file. I use Microsoft Excel for editing the CSV files, but if you don't have Excel on your computer, you can use the free online version of Excel or Google Sheets to edit your CSV file. Please find a link to online versions of Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets in the description below the video. When I open the file, some of the contents are not fitting in their columns. The trick is to click on the triangle at the top left corner and then double click the line between the headers to auto resize all the columns. Note that all the columns are adjusted now. If the name of the items are the same, they will be grouped as variants of the first item with that name. Variant is a variation of a product or service with different attributes and a different price. For example, if you're offering dry cleaning and ironing service on trousers, your product in both cases is trousers and your ATTR1 is dry cleaning and ironing. ATTR1 will eventually be mapped to your actual attribute when importing. In this case, it should be called task. On a similar example, if you're providing shortening and lengthening services on trousers, your item name is trousers in both cases and the ATTR1 is shorten and lengthen. If you wish, you can have more detailed pricing. For example, you can have starch and no starch options for trousers, dry cleaning. This attribute can be added to the ATTR2 column. What define the difference between variants of an item are attributes. Attribute column names have a prefix of ATTR and then a number. Please note that although GLIS allows having an unlimited number of attributes, it's better to avoid having more than two attributes. More than two attributes will overcomplicate your pricing structure and make it harder to maintain. Pieces column defines the number of print copies for dry cleaning, wet, or normal tags. For example, if you have a three-piece suit and you wish to have three tags printed, simply set the pieces to three. Under the category column, enter the name of the item's category. Categories are created under Settings, Categories. Using the categories, unlock the following features. You can get payments or income reports by categories. You can get order reports or filter transactions by categories. You can create templates that only print or email a subset of items in a transaction. You have the option to create a different prefix for each category. This means you can have multiple transaction numbers referring to a different category. For example, your dry cleaning order numbers could be D1, D2, D3, when your alterations order numbers are A20, A21, and A22. Name of the category under the Category column must exactly match the name of the category you create here. Retail price is the price you are selling the item. Turnaround time minutes column is the duration of the job, which means the time it takes to do the job. For example, shortening a pair of pants could take 20 minutes. So the turnaround time minutes is 20 in this case. If you're not sure, enter zero. SKU, or Stock Keeping Unit, is a unique string to identify a product or service. Using SKU, you can use a barcode scanner to add the product or service to the transaction. If you open a notepad and scan a barcode, 
you will see the information encoded in the barcode. Now, if you use the value of the barcode in SKU column, you can use a barcode scanner to scan this barcode and add the product to your transaction. Tax 1 column holds the name of the tax you are allocating to your items. Please note that you can have Tax 2, Tax 3, or Tax 4 columns, which allow you to choose a different tax or even multiple taxes when importing your products or services. Collection Tracking column is to track the collection of items. This is how Gilas helps you track the uncollected items. 1 means you can mark the item collected, and 0 means this feature is disabled for the item. Similarly, progress tracking will give you the option to mark a job done. For a typical dry cleaning or alterations store, you should have both collection and progress tracking enabled by entering a number 1 in these columns. Allow adding sub-items column allows you to add the variance to the same item as a sub-item. For example, if you have a pair of trousers to be shortened and then dry cleaned, you can add a shortening task and then use the plus button next to that to add dry cleaning to the same trousers. Due date time tracking enables entering due date and time for a transaction. Enabling due date time tracking will show you a calendar and time picker on the pay page to select the due date and time. If an item is an add-on, it can be added on to all other items. Please note that if you enable this option, you should also check the option Allow Adding Add-ons under Settings, Items. To allow using the add-ons. Example of an add-on is starch in dry cleaning businesses or buttons in an alterations store. If you are selling an item and wish to keep track of its stock, you need to enter 1 in the stock tracking column. Every time you sell the stock tracked items, the stock level will be deducted according to the quantity you sold. Before starting to import my file, I should make sure these three steps are done. First, the categories are set up and their name matches the import file. You can see there are three categories in the sample import file, alterations, dry cleaning, and embroidery. So I will need to create these categories first. Next, I need to set up the tax or taxes. On the sample import, the name of tax one is VAT. So I will create a tax called VAT. And the last step, I need to set up all attributes to map. We have two attributes here, ATTR1 and ATTR2. These attributes are referring to the task and some more details of those tasks. So I will navigate to Settings, Attributes, and create two attributes called Task and Detail. We are now ready to import. I go back to Settings, Imports, click Choose File, and select the CSV file to import. Now, we should map the ATTR1 to Task and ATTR2 to Task Detail. Click Upload Items to finalize the import. Once the items are imported, Gilas will take you to Settings, Items to show the imported products and services. If you find any mistakes in the import, you can delete all items using the Delete All Items button at the top and import again. Please note that imported items are not displayed in New Transaction page as they are not added to any layouts yet. To do so, I'm going to navigate to Settings, Layouts, and create a new layout called Main Layout. I click Yes to add the new layout to my current register. Then I click Edit to edit the layout. 
Clicking plus will allow me to add my items. I can add items one by one or simply click on this checkbox to select all items. Clicking the check will add items to my layout. Take a few minutes to sort the list. Click and hold on any item and then drag it to the desired spot. To see the final result, click New Transaction.